Hello everyone. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use the ASP.NET MPC Razor View to instantiate our Infogistics rating control to be used in your MPC projects. What I have in front of me is Visual Studio 2010 with the new ASP.NET MPC project. And I have configured the project to bring in the script and CSS files. And every time a new view is loaded, uh, those script references are pulled in accordingly. If you want to learn how to set up your projects to use Infogistics controls, there is another video on that. So I recommend watching that before you get into uh, using the controls. So in this view, uh, we're going to come down on our uh, home and index page and instantiate our rating control. So since I said everything is set up, it's pulling in the necessary helper files for me and the Visual Studio Intelligence is going to pick up uh, everything for me. So I can come down here and start writing the Razor syntax as I would normally do HTML rating, and this brings in the uh, rating control onto my page and I can now go ahead and set the properties for that rating control. So first I need to set is the word count which is basically how many rating options do you want the user to have. So let's say in this case I want to give them five different rating options and I want to have this rating to be a vertical rating control. So I can set a property of vertical to be true. A default is horizontal and a default value of uh, let's say three. So out of those five stars three are going to be selected and I also want to use value as percent to be false because I want this the value of three to be uh, three stars and finally I could just call the render render method onto this helper method uh, helper extension and it would uh, render out the rating control for me on the client side and I can close my helper extension and uh, this basically this code is going to uh, create the helper method for me and bring in the rating control on the client side with the properties that I've set here now I also want to sh have another rating control on the form, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to just copy and paste, and we'll set some different properties on that one just to kind of see how these different properties affect the control. So I'm going to set the vote count to be 10, so there are 10 different rating options, and let it be the default horizontal menu. So I'm going to take out the vertical true out of here. Uh, the default value I want to set to be 7, so out of 10 stars, 7 is going to be selected, and uh, everything else looks okay. So I want to come down here and run the project. Okay, so just by doing that, I have now two rating controls on my page using the MVC view razor syntax. And um, in the first one, which we use the vertical menu with three stars being selected, and we have that view uh, right here in our in our first div. And then the next uh, rating control, we had ten value options with seven being the default. And you can see as I'm hovering on it, I get the highlight. I can click on it to change the value. So it's fully end user interaction enabled. So in this video, you saw how easy it is to use the Razor syntax to new up these controls. Use the Visual Studio IntelliSense that helps out with writing up your uh, MVC helper. And when you run the application, you get the rating control on in your MVC views. Thanks for watching this video. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.